Hiya, it's Linda Lee. Welcome back to my channel. And I have a dry reveal for you um, of a batch that I did just testing out some paper for the most part. Um, it turned out really well. The paper itself though is very, very lightweight. Um, it says 50 pounds, but it feels actually lighter weight than a normal copy paper would. Um, it is actually this sketch paper that I got from Walmart. It says 50 pounds on it. I, I've worked with other paper that's 50 pounds um, weight, but um, I don't know, this one was different. Uh, in fact, if I hadn't had, you know, the, the previous, previous experience um, rinsing the papers um, as much as I have, I think I would have probably lost a lot of it because it was so, so very delicate. So if you try to use something that's that lightweight, um, make sure that you use um, very light pressure on the water. You use leaves or plants that are very um, not woody. I guess is the best word for it, so that they have kind of a, a flexible stems because this is how, how flimsy it is. Normally I pick it up and it's, you know, pretty firm, but this is really, really super soft. Um, but let me show you what I got because I'm actually happy with the result. Um, these are the four and a half by sixes, and again, it was just ferns that I did. Um, it's fern and coffee was in the water. So two cups of coffee for the whole pot of um, Eco Dye Boil. And that was it. I just used coffee and then whatever the plant secreted. I do always have um, white distilled vinegar in the water as well as um, alum. So as I was stacking the plants in the paper, I also um, had sprayed it with alum water. So I just put the alum in a, a spray bottle and dilute it down and kind of spray each layer as I go. But they turned out really cool, really nice. It's just very flimsy paper. So how cool that is with the brown. <laughs> um, I have uh, the smallest of envelopes. I only had one. It was with um, some, tucked in some other paper. So I just put it in with my eco dye stuff. Um, I have a few other envelopes that are a little on the smaller side. Now the ones that totally come unglued when I eco dye them, I'm out of those envelopes. So all of these stayed glued. And believe it or not, today I put a couple new things in my Etsy store. So I got a couple of my crocheted um, wrap bracelets that can be also worn as necklaces. So I'm getting there, my friends. <laughs> I still have to figure this out. Um, I have a lot of eco dye paper right now, more than I normally do, even though I've you know been selling it right along. Um, <clears throat> but I do have enough that I want to get some in the shop. So it's just the watermark stuff that I, I don't I don't know how to do it yet. Plus, I want to make digitals of all of them as well. So selling the originals and then also having, you know, digital um, printables available is what I ultimately want to do so that everybody has a little easier access to them, but it's coming. I got a little, uh, what you call it, a uh, course in, on Photoshop to take through Udemy. So hopefully it'll help it make sense. Actually two courses. 
one is kind of like a, a starter course to get familiar with Photoshop and then the other one is how to use Photoshop so but these envelopes here how big are they um, this is a yardstick <laughs> so they're five probably by eight Nope, five by seven and a little bit. So close to five by sevens. And one more. So those are the larger envelopes and then the bigger papers. They are still double-sided. Um, but very lightweight. This is the only one that actually almost kind of came apart on me. All the rest of them I was able to get through pretty well without um, really hurting anything. I'm really happy with it. I'm happy with the result. I'm not so satisfied with the paper itself. So here I didn't have kind of anything in between. Usually I have, you know, like the smaller pieces of paper. Here I just had this folded shut. So these are kind of like mirror images of the other. And then, you know, the, the curly barky bits that are in the fern. Um, I, I did put those in there as well, so that's kind of where you see some of the extra lines in there. And this one, I'm not sure why we've got this going on. Look how yellow that is. It looks good. I like it. How pretty this is. So these will really make um, nice digitals, you know, the printables. But I'm not sure if I feel confident in selling these papers. We'll see. I really like the brown. I'm going to pause here so in editing I can zoom in on it a little bit. That's a pretty page too. Just a couple more. And then I'll show you the fabrics that I put in there too. And then this one. So then I put some um, cotton fabric in there. Uh, this I actually just kind of threw in the water. It was, um, you know, just an extra bit that I pulled off of something else that I was doing. It was just too big. So I put this in the water. So it's about the same shade. This I actually layered um, plants in it, just like I do with the papers. So. This is cotton fabric. So a vintage, um, like a bed sheet. Isn't that cool? And yes, I probably will be selling these as well. So this is the back side of it, the negative of everything. 
well, not negative, just the back side. And then this is all the front side. So you get the same detail in the paper, or as in the paper, I should say. And then here's where all that crazy yellow was. So that must have been up against that other piece of paper. So that's everything. Just ferns and really super, super lightweight paper. So thanks for hanging out with me. Thank you for your patience while I get things listed in my Etsy store. Um, you'll soon have access to some of these papers, but actually all you really have to do is email me. My email is in um, the description and I will be happy to kind of let you know how much I sell them for and what's included in a little bundle kit. Um, and if you have any special requests, we can kind of work that out too, as well as um, maybe if you have a particular, you know, flower that you want me to try or, you know, concoctions to put in the water, um, I'd be happy to give it a go because, you know, the mystery of it is part of the fun for me, not knowing for sure what's going to happen. So thanks again for hanging out. Have a great rest of your day and stay safe, my friends. Until the next video. Bye-bye.